What is going on, guys? Skepsitor here, and today I have a Katarina commentary for you. And I am playing mid versus Lux, and this is a pretty old gameplay, but I decided to pick it anyway because I go on a big kill rampage, I think, this game. And it's a pretty good gameplay and uh, might be fun to watch. So I'm gonna get my first kill really soon here right there I'm gonna flash on top of her and use my ignite and everything I can to get that kill and uh, so Katarina counters Lux in most situations um, because when she uses her Q you can just jump over it with your E pretty easily and so that's why but still Every time I play Lux versus Katarina, the only, like, it's not that difficult. It's not a complete counter. But if you're a good Katarina player, I think you should win against Lux. But, because you don't, you can't, it's, it could be a little bit of, you know, hard to farm if you're not very good with Katarina. And then Lux can, you know, harass you with her basic attack. Look at this. I'm going to get killed right here because I get hit by her Q. And that's uh, not very good when you're playing against Lux because once she hits her Q, you might get wrecked pretty quickly. Um, she's got you know high burst damage. She just hits her Q, then E, ultimate, and ignite, and you're most likely dead because Katarina is pretty squishy. But if you're on your guard all the time and you're not know, ready to use your E, you should be able to. Uh, uh, dodge that Q. Sometimes you should just walk right into her uh, when she uses her Q. You know, try to jump over her. So, like, if she would have used her Q there, I could have just jumped over her, but she, um, she didn't use her Q. She tried to shield instead. But I got the kill anyway. Uh, so, I'm going back buying, uh, I think, a blasting wand or just an amplifying tome. And heading bot for a gank. Lux is also here. Um, I'm gonna use my ultimate and actually get Thresh, but I'm gonna get killed by Lux. So that's, your that's unfortunate. Um, and it's really important to try to roam a lot with Katarina because that's one of her big strengths. Uh, look at that. I just jumped over her Q. Uh, that's what I meant. Uh, instead of just you know trying to dodge it or you know walk to the side or whatever you can just jump over the queue uh, on top of her because it doesn't have that long range it does have pretty long range but you can you know if you're confident you could just walk into it and try to jump over the queue um, so I'm going for a Sonya's and that's really good when playing against Lux uh, you should get Asanias on Katarina uh, all the time, actually. Every game, uh, Asanias is recommended uh, because, I mean, in team fights, she does have her resets and stuff. When you get a kill, you can use your abilities again and stuff, and that's really good. Uh, but if you don't get any kills, that's the downside with Katarina. If you don't get any kills, you can't really do much. And so if you happen to use your abilities and you don't get a kill and you're like in the middle of everyone, you know, Katarina needs kills to do well and to survive so she can get back her E and jump out of there and, or to keep getting kills with her resets. But if you if you don't get any kills, uh, you need that Sonya to uh, uh, keep you alive. I'm going to get killed right there. Um... But you need that Sanyas to keep you alive in those situations if you go in. Uh, you're gonna see a little bit later in the game uh, where I do that. And that wins us the fight, fight basically. Because if you, or if you get caught, if you get caught in like a Lux binding, you will also most likely die if you don't have Sanyas. Um, so that's why it's good versus Lux. Um, because Lu her Lux Lux's Q is not a stun, it's just the binding, so you can still use your Sonya. Uh, I'm gonna chase Lux here and get a kill, uh, really nice, and 
Jarman is chasing me. He's gonna use his ultimate. And look at this. I used my Sanya's uh, and the Jinx ult goes right through me. And then I managed to jump over it with like 19 health. That's just insane. And I recall back to base. <laughs> that's also, um, or that's an example where uh, Sanya's can come quite in handy. Um, so yeah, they're just chasing um, someone top. I'm gonna go through jungle and kill Lux and clear a ward. Take this farm. So I am 10 and 3, and we, we only have 14 kills in our team. Um, it's something you gotta think about when you're playing Katarina because you're gonna take a lot of kills. A lot of people complain that you might be kill stealing people. Um, just because you get most of the kills like it's really easy to to secure or last hit the kills with Katarina so you if if you're not good with Katarina you can't carry you should maybe take all the kills because then your team won't have anything to uh, you know any kills so d don't steal everything if you can't carry uh, we've got 15 kills in our team and I have 11 of them uh, so they only have four kills four kills on four people I have you know the, you know the majority of the kills by far uh, but I'm pretty good with Katarina uh, I'd say and uh, she's one of my mains so it doesn't really matter for me um, we're gonna push uh, for the turret here. No, we're not. We're gonna go back, and I think I'm gonna get caught here. Um, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna jump away with my E, and they're gonna push for the turret. Um, and they're all full health, and we, we we don't feel very confident with the turret on low HP and stuff. And we're only three people right now. I'm gonna press my Sonya's here, uh, and that's gonna look at that. That's a perfect example. Uh, that saved us some time, and I managed to get two kills. And we turned the team fight just because of my Sonya's, you know? They thresh hooked me, and he thought, okay, now we can kill this Katarina real quickly and kill the rest and get out of here. Or just kill me and get out of there. But, you know, when you click the Sonya's, everyone in their team is like, wait, what the fuck happened? And, you know, they, they kind of stop and they don't really know who to focus because they just wasted all their stunts and stuff on, um, on you. And then if you just press Sonya's, they're like, wait, what do we do now? Uh, so that's a really good thing and when you come back from the Sonyas, uh, they don't have any CC left so you can just wreck them. Uh, I'm gonna go in here with my ults and take two kills. As you can see I've got, now we've got 16 kills. We've got, we've got 20 kills in our team. They still only have four kills out of uh, all the kills. You know, four, four teammates and four kills, and I've got 17 kills. <laughs> but I don't give a shit. So I'm gonna get by the um, uh, what is it called? Void staff for heavy damage, and you should go f pretty much full damage. The only defensive you could get Banshee's Veil on Katarina. That's a pretty good item because you can get um, you don't really have any way of getting your health back but with Banshee's Veil I think there's a sh there's a shield which is good if you um, get hit by some CC or something and you know the spell shield and then there's this um, uh, health regen uh, passive uh, that gives you back health when you use the shield and that's good because Katarina doesn't have any way of re regenerating her health and that means you have to go back to base every time uh, so that's pretty good I used to buy magic no, what's it called um, uh, spell vamp on Katarina I bought the hextech gunblade but that wasn't very uh, good uh, when I got better with her, I realized that it's not really worth it. Um, it li really, de uh, it probably depends on your play style as well. But uh, I wouldn't recommend it. 
uh, a lot of people also get the Deathfire Grasp with the active, but I hate Deathfire Grasp in general, uh, especially on Katarina, because I only buy it when I play like Ari. It's pretty good on Ari, but Katarina, I, I look at her, you know, she's got AoE damage with her ult, and she can, you know, attack three people at once uh, with her ult. So, you know, I don't really. I guess it could be good in lane and stuff, but it just confuses me having to use that uh, Deathfire grasp, grasp active and stuff. It's really annoying. I skipped ahead in the game uh, a little bit right there, uh, where we lost the team fight and I got killed. Um, you know, you really gotta be careful because we just lost that team fight because I don't really know what happened, but. Um, I got killed and then we're basically fucked because I'm most of our damage since I'm so fed. I'm gonna jump over the wall and Jarvan. Not the best move ever, but we're pretty confident that we're gonna win this anyway. You know, I wasted my ult uh, on the tank. Uh, but thanks to the resets and everything, I'm gonna use my Sonya's there uh, and I'm gonna get killed again. But I bought the Guardian Angel, so that gives me <laughs> like three lives or th three chances to do as much damage as I can. And that's it could be good getting Sonus and uh, Guardian Angel because then you know that you're gonna, you know, if you get focus, you're still fine. Um, so that's gonna be the victory, and I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Um, peace!